Hello everyone, welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. And some breaking news, as Dave Rennie has officially escaped a sanction from World Rugby and will not be given any sort of fine or ban or absolutely anything. Instead, he has been issued a written warning after his referee outburst um, following Australia's loss last weekend. And quite interesting, in a week or 10 days rather, where Rassi Rassi has been handed down probably the biggest and um, sort of the most um, sort of severe sanction ever onto, onto a coach about an, a, a, an incident like this. Quite strange and probably be quite upsetting for a lot of fans that a week later, um, Dave Rennie, or the same week that the punishment was handed down, Dave Rennie comes out with a, a complete outburst against the referee and escapes with no punishment. Now let's get very let's get a few things sort of clear before we actually dive into this and have a look at it. First of all, you obviously can't compare the two incidents. Erasmus Rasmus's incident was substantially worse. We know this. We know that um, you know, it was an hour long rant about referees and with clips and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, my sort of thing was always the fact that, you know, you've got to look at, you know, for me, it was more sort of proving that the video itself was leaked. Um, but you all know sort of the way it was done, stuff like that. The idea was that it was hopefully eventually going to surface and stuff like that. So it was obviously a very different incident. So you can't really compare the incidents, but the sort of charges and the sort of concept behind them are the same. And the reason for such a harsh punishment on Rusty Rasmus was to try and really clamp down on coaches and players and administrators from letting any instance like this sort of happen again. And, well, first of all, it obviously didn't work because four days later they had another incident. Um, but, yeah, you know, let's just get that very clear that there are two very different scenarios. So let's just look at the scenario almost in isolation and then we can sort of compare the punishments a little bit. Um, but the, the actual rant from um, Dave Rennie went as follows. He says, uh, he said, after last weekend, he said, if we're going to have a TMO, there's no excuse for not getting the decisions right. And we saw another example of that tonight. Everyone's accountable or they should be. We're accountable as players and coaches, but, and we've got to make sure officials are also accountable. Morris decision a couple of weeks ago in the Scotland match decided the game and yet he was appointed again. So he's already literally name dropped a referee. There isn't any accountability around guys who are making errors that are deciding test matches. The reason the TMO was brought into the game was to get the right decision. After the Scotland game, Morris' decision to Sinbin and Alatoa, we were told, was the wrong decision. It wasn't a yellow card. These are big moments, and getting an apology later is not good enough. Uh, there were a lot of decisions today, and I'm not going into which I felt I had massive bearing on the game. Um, he had previously described the refereeing as horrendous. So that was sort of the situation. So first of all, Name drop um, referees stuff like that, and said that it's not good enough, and there's no accountability, and that they are deciding test match, and that it's so it was quite a as far as you know, it's 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 quite different to just sort of say I think the referee got a few decisions wrong, or say we felt sometimes we were on the on the on the on the end of a couple of 50-50 calls and didn't really get them stuff like that, but that is to literally call the referees out, name drop them, and say that it wasn't good enough, right? Um, now, he has literally been given a written warning. That is the punishment. That is the sanction that World Rugby has imposed on Dave Rennie. And this is what the statement has said. He says, World Rugby can confirm that it is has issued a written warning to Rugby Australia and Rugby Australia men's 15s head coach Dave Rennie for comments made immediately after Australia's autumn, final, uh, autumn Nations final set, set match against Wales in Cardiff on the 20th of November. Match officials are the backbone of the sport. And without them, there is no game. World Rugby condemns any public criticism of the selection, performance, or integrity which undermines or threatens their role. The trust-based coach officials, feedback processes, and more importantly, the values that are at heart of the sport and must be upheld. While the comments made by Rennie in the post-match broadcast and media conference environments immediately after the game's game are clearly not aligned with these values, the prompt, proactive, and meaningful apology by Rennie and Rugby Australia is welcomed. So basically, he said sorry, and they've gone. You know, it's fine. We'll just carry on. Just don't do it again. Please don't do it again, Dave. But just you said sorry, so it's fine. So again, I don't want to compare it to the Rusty Rusty situation. They are very different scenarios. But World Rugby made a choice a week ago where they came down very, very, very hard on Rusty Rasmus in an urge to try and stamp this sort of thing out to try and sort of really get behind their officials and try and make sure that this sort of thing wouldn't happen again. For a coach to come out a few days after that and launch a tire against a specific referee and to get away with not even a fine, not even a monetary 10,000 pound or whatever dollar fine, 
you know, just to say <clears throat> you can't do that again or a thousand pound fine. Just the fact that there is no punishment at all, basically, you know, makes it a little bit farcical because how can you as world rugby sit there and say they are definitely not allowed. You definitely should not be able to do that. Um, but we're going to give you a bit of a slap on the wrist and just, just, just don't do it again and we'll be fine. It's very frustrating because if world rugby do want to clamp down and do want to take a massive stand against these incidents, then do that. Show consistency. I'm not saying that Dave Rennie should be banned for 10 months. I don't think he should probably be banned at all. But there needs to have been some sort of punishment. A warning is not a punishment. A fine is a punishment. Any sort of ban is a punishment or whatever, you know. And I think the fact that there hasn't been a, literally there's no punishment whatsoever does sort of um, well, frustrate a lot of people. And I think it is pretty wrong. I think that if you're going to punish Rashi Rasmus that harshly, I'm mean, talking about a 10-month ban from all rugby-related incidents. We're talking, I mean, two-month ban from all rugby-related incidents. Uh, activities, a 10-month ban from all match days, as well as a £20,000 fine for SA Rugby, whilst Australia, um, Rugby Australia get told, just don't do it again. Okay, just please don't. Where's the consistency? And it's the same. I mean, it's, it's what we've been asking for. When we will do rugby, from referees, the decisions just have to be consistent. The treatment just has to be consistent. Even if you don't agree with them, or you think it's too harsh or too lenient, as long as they're consistent, there's not going to be that much of an argument. You could sit there saying, you know, I would like to see more punishment, but at least he's being treated the same as he's being tra- treated and all the incidents are being tra- treated, the sa- treated the same. And I think that for him to have ex- escaped punishment completely is pretty poor from a world rugby point of view in terms of having gone so harsh, well, not harshly, but so hard on Rassi Erasmus. Um and, you know, it is funny that just timing-wise, it does seem that Rugby Australia seems to be the preferred location for Rugby World Cup 2027. And now the head coach gets to come out and, and have a full go at um, a referee and not have anything, not have anything to worry about, just be told not to do it again. But let me know what you think of the punishment down below. Um, do you think it's fair? Do you think that um, it didn't warrant any sort of punishment or stuff like that? Um, or do you think that it is um, in line with what they did to Rusty Rasmus, that Dave Rennie did deserve some sort of punishment of some sort? Um, but let me know down in the comments below. Smash like the video and subscribe to the channel as well. My name is Steven. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll chat to you soon.